Today we are going to discuss about the buffered stream in Java. So when you are developing a program in Java and you want to save the data, you have to either save it into the memory or onto the hard disk. So for both the purposes we have to use the streams for saving the data or reading the data. There are two ways uh, you can write the data. So we can do uh, the input out output operation or write the data in two ways without any buffer that is unbuffered and second is using the buffered. Unbuffered is actually inefficient and because it triggers the disk access network activity and other relative operations whenever you have to read or write the data. So the operation are directly performed on the memory or on the disk. In case of buffered, this is the preferred way and in a buffered way of programming, read and write operations are done through a memory area called buffer. In the read operation, input streams read data from the memory area and the native API is called only on the empty buffer and the write operation to the output streams. So basically this is uh, efficient and uh, read and write operations are performed with the help of memory area called buffer and and once the flush is uh, called in the Java program it the whole data is saved into the hard disk or into the memory area. So it is efficient way. So there are two buffer types one is for reading the data and another for writing data. First is buffered input stream. This class makes input stream available for buffering the input and buffered output stream. This is used for writing to the disk or memory. So buffered input has these uh, uh, methods, important methods. And in case of buffered output, the flush, write and write method is there. You can use this method to write the data onto the disk or, or any other output stream. Buffered character class is uh, buffered reader. This class facilitates to read the text from character input stream and buffered writer. This class facilitates to write character output stream using the buffer. So these have all the methods. So if you want you can go through the details of each methods on our website. We have many examples on Java input output stream. For example, writing to a text file, reading from a text file and so on. So you can visit our website and learn from these tutorials. Thanks for watching the video and subscribe our channel.